Hey there, fellow money enthusiasts. Today, we're delving into the world of personal finance with a book that has completely revolutionized our thinking about building wealth. Get ready to uncover the secrets of financial success as we embark on an exciting journey through Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad, Poor Dad. This book fearlessly challenges the conventional wisdom when it comes to creating wealth. Kiyosaki introduces us to two contrasting figures his own father and his best friend's father, and through their different perspectives, he imparts invaluable lessons on financial education, entrepreneurship, and the importance of creating assets that generate passive income. So let's dive into a comprehensive summary of each chapter. Chapter one, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. In the first chapter of his book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki introduces us to the two most influential figures in his life his own father, whom he refers to as poor dad, and the father of his childhood best friend, whom he calls rich dad. These two men had completely different perspectives on money and investing, and their contrasting approaches laid the foundation for the valuable financial lessons that Kiyosaki would learn. Kiyosaki's poor dad was a highly educated man, holding a PhD and working as the superintendent of education in Hawaii. Despite his impressive credentials, he struggled financially throughout his life. He believed in the traditional path of getting a good education, finding a stable job, and relying on a steady paycheck. However, this mindset left him trapped in the cycle of living paycheck to paycheck, always struggling to make ends meet. On the other hand, Kiyosaki's rich dad was an entrepreneur and a self-made millionaire. He didn't have a fancy education or a high-paying job, but he possessed a unique mindset when it came to money. He believed in the power of financial education and taking calculated risks to create wealth. Rich Dad taught Kiyosaki the importance of financial literacy, investing, and building assets that generate income. Through the contrasting experiences of his two dads, Kiyosaki realized that traditional education does not necessarily equate to financial intelligence. He saw how his poor dad was highly educated but lacked the financial skills to create wealth, while his rich dad had a different mindset and achieved financial success despite not having a formal education. This chapter sets the stage for the rest of the book, as Kiyosaki shares the valuable lessons he learned from both his dads. He encourages readers to challenge their beliefs about money and to seek financial education outside of the traditional school system. Kiyosaki's personal journey from financial struggle to financial freedom serves as an inspiration for anyone looking to improve their financial situation. Chapter 2. The Rich Don't Work for Money Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of financial education right from the start. He points out that traditional schooling often neglects to teach us about money and how it actually works. We spend years studying subjects that may not directly impact our financial success. Meanwhile, the rich understand that financial education is the key to building wealth. Now here's the major difference. While the poor and middle class focus on working for a paycheck, the rich focus on acquiring assets that generate income. They understand that relying solely on a job will never lead to true financial freedom. Instead, they invest in assets like real estate, stocks, and businesses that generate passive income. Think about it this way. When you work for money, you're essentially trading your time for a fixed amount of income. But when you invest in assets, your money starts working for you. It's a shift in mindset that can truly make all the difference in your financial journey. Chapter 3. Why Teach Financial Literacy? Kiyosaki presents a compelling argument regarding the education system's failure to provide individuals with crucial financial skills. He emphasizes how schools often neglect the significance of teaching financial literacy, leaving people ill-equipped to navigate the intricate world of money. Now you might be wondering, why is financial literacy so crucial? Well, let me break it down for you. When we lack financial knowledge, we become susceptible to making poor financial decisions that can have long-lasting consequences. From effectively managing debt to making wise investments, these skills can greatly impact our financial well-being. But here's the catch. Financial education shouldn't solely rely on schools. Kiyosaki stresses the need for individuals to take charge of their own financial education. 
We can't simply sit back and hope that someone else will teach us what we need to know. It's up to us to actively seek out the knowledge and resources that will empower us to make informed financial choices. Chapter 4. Mind Your Own Business Kiyosaki presents a compelling argument that even if you're currently employed, starting a side business can be a game changer. Not only does it provide an opportunity to learn valuable entrepreneurial skills, but it also generates additional income. One of the key points Kiyosaki emphasizes is the importance of taking risks. He firmly believes that in order to achieve financial success, we need to step out of our comfort zones and embrace the unknown. It's through taking risks that we discover new opportunities and unlock our true potential. Innovation is another crucial aspect highlighted in this chapter. Kiyosaki encourages us to think outside the box and come up with creative solutions to problems. By being innovative, we can differentiate ourselves from the competition and create a unique value proposition for our businesses. Problem solving is a skill that every successful entrepreneur possesses. Kiyosaki stresses the importance of being able to identify and solve problems effectively. In the world of business, challenges are inevitable, but it's how we handle them that sets us apart. Developing strong problem-solving skills will not only help us overcome obstacles, but also enable us to thrive in the face of adversity. Chapter 5. The History of Taxes and the Power of Corporations In this captivating chapter, Kiyosaki takes us on an exhilarating journey through time, unraveling the origins of taxes and their profound impact on the world we inhabit today. Taxes have always been a part of our existence, from ancient civilizations to contemporary governments. But what sets corporations apart from individuals when it comes to taxation? Corporations have a distinct advantage over individuals when it comes to taxes. They have access to a wide range of tax loopholes and strategies that can significantly reduce their tax burden. While individuals are left wondering why they have to bear such a heavy tax load, corporations thrive in their advantageous position. Kiyosaki shares invaluable insights on how individuals can use tax laws to their advantage and build wealth. By understanding the rules of the game, you can start playing it with finesse. Chapter 6. The Rich Invent Money Kiyosaki firmly believes that traditional education often overlooks the most crucial lesson of all, how to make money work for us. In this chapter, he challenges us to break free from the conventional mindset of working for money and instead urges us to think outside the box and create our own sources of income. It's all about discovering opportunities and cultivating new ideas and ventures that generate income. It's about harnessing our unique skills, passions, and interests to create something valuable that others are willing to invest in. A key takeaway from this chapter is the significance of embracing our creativity. Each of us possesses a spark of innovation waiting to be ignited. Whether you're an artist, writer, musician, or problem solver, there is a vast reservoir of untapped potential within you, just waiting to be unleashed. However, creativity alone is not enough. We must combine it with a mindset of innovation. This involves constantly seeking out new opportunities, challenging the status quo, and being willing to take calculated risks. It means being open to failure and learning from our mistakes, as that is where true growth occurs. Kiyosaki shares his personal journey of creating multiple streams of income through various ventures. He emphasizes the importance of not relying solely on a single source of income, as it leaves us vulnerable to financial instability. Instead, he encourages us to diversify our income streams and create a safety net for ourselves. Do not fear taking that first step. Start small, experiment, and learn along the way. Surround yourself with like-minded individuals who share your passion for entrepreneurship and personal growth. And above all, never stop learning. The world is constantly evolving, and it is up to us to adapt and seize the opportunities that come our way. Chapter 7. Work to Learn. Don't Work for Money. In this chapter, Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of acquiring valuable skills and knowledge. He challenges the traditional notion of working solely for a paycheck, and instead encourages us to prioritize learning and gaining experience. When our main focus is money, we limit ourselves to a fixed income. However, when we work to learn, we open ourselves up to a world of possibilities. 
we become adaptable, versatile, and ready to take on any challenge that comes our way. It's crucial to actively seek out experiences that will stretch our abilities and push us out of our comfort zone. This could mean taking on a new project at work that requires us to learn a new skill, or it could involve attending workshops, seminars, or online courses to expand our knowledge in a specific area. The key is to never stop learning and growing. When we prioritize acquiring valuable skills and knowledge, the money will naturally follow. Employers and clients are drawn to individuals who are constantly improving themselves. They recognize the value we bring to the table and are willing to pay top dollar for it. Kiyosaki reminds us that the true power lies in the skills and knowledge we acquire. We should invest in ourselves and unlock our full potential. Only we have the ability to create a future where we are not just working for money, but working to learn and thrive. Chapter 8 overcoming obstacles. In this chapter, we will explore the five major obstacles that Kiyosaki believes hinder people from achieving financial freedom. These obstacles are fear, cynicism, laziness, bad habits, and arrogance. Let's dive in and learn how to overcome them. Fear is the first obstacle that Kiyosaki highlights. It has the power to paralyze us and keep us within our comfort zones. The little voice in our heads constantly asks, what if I fail? Or what if I lose everything? But fear is just an illusion, my friend. It's a mental barrier that we create for ourselves. It's time to break free from fear and embrace the unknown. Next up, we have cynicism. This negative mindset constantly doubts and questions everything. It's the voice that says, this won't work, or it's too good to be true. But guess what? Cynicism won't get us anywhere. It's time to shift our perspective and start believing in the possibilities. Let's replace cynicism with curiosity and open ourselves up to new opportunities. Then we have laziness. We all have those days when we just want to stay in bed and binge watch our favorite shows. But here's the truth. Success requires effort and hard work. We can't expect to achieve financial freedom by sitting on the couch all day. So let's kick laziness to the curb and start taking consistent action towards our goals. Ah, bad habits. We all have them, whether it's overspending, procrastinating, or not prioritizing our finances. These habits can hold us back from reaching our full potential. But it's never too late to break free from these chains. Let's replace those bad habits with good ones that align with our financial goals. Last but not least, arrogance. Arrogance blinds us from seeing our own flaws and limits our growth. It's that sense of superiority that prevents us from seeking help or learning from others. But here's the reality check. No one knows everything. We all have room for improvement. So let's humble ourselves and be open to new ideas and perspectives. In conclusion, these five obstacles can hinder our journey towards financial freedom. But with awareness and determination, we can overcome them. Let's break free from fear, replace cynicism with curiosity, kick laziness to the curb, replace bad habits with good ones, and humble ourselves to learn and grow. The path to financial freedom is within our reach. Chapter 9, Getting Started. Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of building assets, reducing liabilities, managing expenses, and increasing financial literacy. These are the key steps to achieving financial freedom. Let's break them down one by one. First, building assets. Kiyosaki encourages readers to focus on acquiring income-generating assets such as real estate, stocks, or businesses. These assets will provide you with passive income and help you grow your wealth over time. Next, reducing liabilities. Kiyosaki advises against accumulating unnecessary debt, such as credit card debt or high-interest loans. By minimizing your liabilities, you'll have more money available to invest in assets and build your wealth. Managing expenses is another crucial aspect of achieving financial freedom. Kiyosaki suggests tracking your expenses and identifying areas where you can cut back. By being mindful of your spending habits, you can free up more money to put towards your financial goals. Lastly, increasing financial literacy. Kiyosaki stresses the importance of educating yourself about money and investing. This includes reading books, attending seminars, and seeking out mentors who can guide you on your financial journey. Chapter 10, Want More. As we reach the end of this journey, Kiyosaki leaves us with some powerful words of wisdom. He urges us to be proactive in our financial lives, 
to not simply sit back and let things unfold. It's time to step up and seize control. One of the key messages Kiyosaki emphasizes is the significance of continuous learning. He reminds us that knowledge is power. And in the ever-evolving world of finance, we must stay informed and adapt to new strategies and opportunities. So let's make a commitment to never stop learning. However, learning alone is not sufficient. Kiyosaki encourages us to seek guidance from financial professionals. They possess the expertise and experience to help us navigate the intricate realm of money. Don't hesitate to ask for assistance and surround yourself with a team of experts who can steer you towards success. Kiyosaki challenges us to question conventional thinking. He wants us to break free from the traditional mindset that keeps us trapped in the rat race. It's time to think outside the box, take risks, and forge our own financial destiny. Let's wholeheartedly embrace this call to action. Let's dare to dream big and take the necessary steps to achieve our financial goals. Remember, success doesn't come to those who wait. It comes to those who take action. Thank you for embarking on this incredible adventure with me. I hope you've gained valuable knowledge and inspiration along the way. Now go out there and unleash your financial potential.